Hey, this is Kamal. Welcome back to a new video of One Piece Wanted Rush. And many players are saying that old Marco goated, old Marco really good, old Marco better than new Marco. That's why I'm making a video which Marco is better. Not gonna lie, I didn't want it to make a video of comparing units, but people are really hating this character, really saying he is mid. If you guys are joining my live stream, you guys already know how I abuse Marco and. Marco is low key good and he is usable, of course he is usable and really nice support unit and a good runner. But of course he is not an all rounder like Yamato, Odin or New Rayleigh really, you can say. But yeah he is still good, he is still good. If you ask me on artwork I would like 100% say that this guy's artwork is better than the old Marco's artwork though. The medals I am using, okay first of all he is level 80 and this guy is level 100 boost too. He is 80, 18 by 52 boosted. So there is a difference between this Marco and this new Marco. But I will still judge it like honest review that which Marco is better and which Marco is better on which stages, which Marco has advantages on which stages. I'm gonna talk all about that. First of all, I'm using the middle set is this one, the Uroj and this Katakuri sister. And on this also I'm using Luffy, the Zoro and Uroj only. This one is giving me 5115 HP. If I put Uroj on this one it will give me like 3644 HP, 887 attack and 454 defense. If we talk about being offensive, if you guys like it really really people hate Marco or Sober Mask a lot. But Bandai also posted something that you have to use runner as a runner not a attacker if you guys gonna play these characters as really odin or yamato that is like all rounder then i would say that this marco is better but using him as a runner and supporting your team back capping in clutch i would say that this marco is better i mean being like a nice runner plus being like a little bit offensive also going to the category of odin new really or yamato this guy can go on that category and this guy he has literally different category of best support unit plus really good in clutch he is like overall on a lot of maps and overall maps he is good this marco is better than that marco on back cap and clutch on all the maps but there are like few maps that is like this marco is better are long the normal savoti dress roll stage and stages where are water gaps this marco is really good this marco i think land of one of night stages kind of makes these two marco equal kind of because there is a path where this marco can fly through that and this marco has like the same kind of really nice speed when he uses skill too so he also gets towards his last flag really fast so i think kind of on this land of one night he they are like equal but on whichever stages there is like water gap i think this marco will take the place the old marco will take the place of against new marco sorry to say this sorry to say new marco fans and old marco fans i'm just giving an honest review we're gonna talk about skills and their normals after seeing one gameplay of each unit but before that i want to say that his skill 2 comes really really fast his skill 2 comes really really fast when like enemy art is like boosted parameters and there is a lot of enemies that has like buffs so whichever character has buffs when they hit him he gets like skill 2 really really fast so if there is like buffed character against him his skill 2 can be kind of unlimited also not literally unlimited but there will be like one or two seconds gap or it can be unlimited also depending on enemies boosted parameters and how many enemies are there with boosted parameters so this skill can become literally unlimited plus i would say like go for skill 2 more than skill 1 skill 1 is fine but still i would recommend to go for skill 2 instead of going for skill one 
all right let's go to the first match in ssc using this marco with this middle set it is like 160.2 percent attacker start pirates paramecia captain all max grand line a new world also you can say all uh four by six i am like red or blue main but was never a green main that's why he is getting like tags and support percentage also really nice all right this is the first match with this og marco trust me i really like both the marcos and i have both the marcos and i really enjoy them but yeah i can understand you guys you guys wanted a attacker marco green attacker marco that you guys didn't got and angry about that but that doesn't mean you're gonna hate the new character you guys can you guys can give a little bit of love to those units also plus at least give the love to new marco only because of his goated artwork though at least <laughs> i'm just kidding but that new marco is also really nice really nice really nice support unit plus a good runner also plus he can clutch i mean not like odin and yamato i would still say that odin and yamato is better in like capping flags other than that i'm not forgetting the fact that this guy has like no one can remove him not even a knockback but the damage if he gets like a lot of damage he can be removed easily plus he could have been broken on so many things the new marco could have been broken on so many things but they didn't made him broken they kind of nerfed him or balanced him because always bandai do like this they always make the non-hype character more stronger than the hype character that's why people uh so people go for both units instead of going for only for hype unit that's what bandai always do because you are a marco fan you are a marco hype fan you will use marco no matter what you will summon for marco no matter what but if you are not a perispero fan you guys will still summon on him like me because perispero is literally broken or goated you can say all right you can see i am just going for the flags just using my big brain to not do like fights that are not necessary that literally bandai did showed us like that that you guys don't have to intentionally fight if you guys don't want to or if you guys uh if it's not needed so literally i'm not fighting and just going for flags back capping and all capturing flags this is the important thing of runner that's how you use runner not as an offensive character though plus i would say uh, i would talk about the healing thing also of these all both the marcos after the gameplay of course hmm okay new marco versus og marco time to for that nope didn't happen didn't happen okay i can see that og mar OG, uh, really going and new marco is going for him i see i see i have to just fight this new marker okay all right i can't stop that okay okay you can't stop that skill i see i was just trying i can i just wanted i wanted to try that and yep we can't stop that <laughs> oh sheesh okay new marco rip 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 if i talk about tankiness hmm it's kind of really hard though really hard question depending on the enemies also how enemies are using if there is like boosted parameters literally uh the new marco can literally be more tanky all right we died at the last second but did really nice i did my best to pack capping and taking flags and we were lagging also on this match at the last 15 or 20 seconds this was happening on live stream also if you guys joined today's live stream i mean yesterday's live stream you guys already know how much we were lagging at the last 15 or 30 seconds as you can see i did play this marco as a runner not an offensive character five capture one kills really nice that's how you should use a runner but as an offensive way you guys love to be offensive i know you guys still want to slay the match or kill everyone i know how you guys feel because i'm also feeling when using perispero <laughs> so yeah this marco has that potential to kill and fight the enemies but if we talk ah uh, before saying anything we'll see that gameplay also of new one marco gameplay this is the middle set of new marco the uroj and kathakuri sister you can say giving me 5115 hp 
and of course tags and support is not that much strong compared to red element cause not a green main not a green main again saying that attacker max grand line new world almost max you can say Threat pirates also four by six all right let's go to the match of vano marco in ssd all right this match is from my live stream because this was really good match using vano marco and i mean like vano marco is really good but i didn't want it to straight using marco and the i just wanted to chill using paris Pera and marco both so here's the gameplay from stream only easy right and this was a good gameplay so i just wanted to flex a good gameplay using vano marco okay if side by side i would say that they made like this marco really balanced instead of make him broken there was like so many ways where they could have made him really broken like giving him speed boost at starting that would have been good uh plus giving him like if when using this skill one giving more damage to that skill one so he one shots enemy literally if he one shots enemy with that skill that could have been really nice because his attack could have like really increased if this skill 2 when doing this skill 2 he takes no damage or other than that he takes like really less damage damage reduction no i don't think it, it has like damage reduction though plus it nullifies status effect though i would recommend you it to be like more like uh not taking a lot of damage not taking damage plus no knockbacks also please no knockbacks no knockbacks i don't want knockbacks when using this character uh when using this k2 especially you can see how i'm using this marco i literally want flags more literally want flags more that's how you guys can go with this marco and really clutch the match this map is really good for this new one vano marco not gonna lie though okay okay we're going good we're going good bro this guy is giving me so much damage plus i got hit by yamato also yikes imagine okay if plus this skill using when using skill one you have to be really away from the enemy to for that skill to work if you're close to enemy it doesn't hit the enemy i think uh bandai will update it and make it like more smooth when in future update uh but yeah not right now how they made him more uh kind of broken if like he has like two heads if those two heads were added together that would have made him broken those two heads are not added one hp uh one hp doesn't remain at the last like for yamato and odin so that is also kind of making him balanced instead of broken they made him really nice balanced runner but not a broken runner that's really the fact but he is nice he has potential reason cause at last 10 seconds and when he will be like level 100 getting his one one health getting his one life down is not going to be that easy either so at level 100 when he has like hp and defense all removing removing him from flag impossible impossible so at level 100 he would be goated goated runner not gonna lie literally goated that's why i think that on most of the maps this marco can be better than that marco but on some maps that marco can be good too that i already told Sabody dress rosa and the other one are long i guess that has water gaps though if this skill one and skill two could have crossed the gaps water gaps that also made him goated there's like so many ways banda could have made him goated but they didn't all reason to make perispero broken instead of this guy reason cause not hype character strong hype character weak so for people go for hype characters cause they love hype characters people go for non-hype characters cause they are stronger in game that's bandai's mentality i'm not talking about the gems only cause gems is important if you don't go for your either you go for your hype character or either you go for your broken character so you don't want both the units it's kind of making it balance and i wanted to balance it like that I don't like it 
you guys don't like it we don't like it but banner doesn't care so that was it with these two gameplays and now to review the scale and normals i would say that better normals are for this unit og marco has better normals and more smooth i ain't gonna lie i am giving a honest review so normals are better for this unit if we talk about scale one the scale one is more like scale two for this guy so if we talk about scale two and scale one comparing those two he is i mean like this thing this thing gives like more heals to your teammates and more heals to you but it gives to you and only the teammate who is in front of you not to everyone plus this cooldown is also like 39 seconds not that easy to get that skill back really fast this skill too has like 35 seconds cooldown but if the enemy is buffed with parameters are boosted the, this skill can come back in no time so unlimited skill and this skill can literally heal every teammate so that's really pop healing every teammate of healing more to you or your one teammate i think healing all your teammates is better it's totally different thing if all four of you guys are being on one flag only I don't think that all characters are going to be on one flag only. I mean, there can be like two or three of them, but all four are on one flag. That's kind of stupid because you guys should go for other flags or uh, to guard other flags because everything can happen. So having like healing all four of them with this unit is not going to be easy. So scale one and scale two comparing, I think this scale two will win easily. No cap because... Of course you guys know the phoenix is like gives like for more seconds it is and plus it gives his to more teammates if i talk about skill one phoenix brand and the other skill this phoenix claw i would say that phoenix claw is more stronger because it gives like 527 damage three times that can literally kill many units literally kill many units the units that don't go down he can kill to those units but this guy this guy is like this phoenix brand is hard to hit first of all and if it hits oh sheesh literally it doesn't give that much damage so i would say that this skill also the skill to phoenix claw skill win against the phoenix brand though i mean i know only his skill is stronger plus his skill 2 is stronger than his skill 1 plus his normals are also stronger if i see the stats i would say that stats are also better for this guy compared to him but we are talking about back cap clutch and all this guy can do more clutch and back caps than this unit many maps many stages but this guy is also good on like three two or three stages he's this guy is really good on those two three stages but overall stages there is like more stages than two three stages so i would say that this guy will win against this guy plus you guys might be thinking that this guy has better stats this guy has one skill better this guy's normals are better than that new marco then how new marco is better than this old marco reason this marco is really good in support plus when taking flags if he is level 100 boost too, no one can remove him. He will be like goated. He can be meta also if using perfect meta set with like HP and defense is really good for him. So at level 100 boost too, if using not perfect meta set, he can be really goated. And I will tell that meta set soon. I have two medals in my mind right now, but third medal, I have to search for the third medal. What is going to be third medal though? So yeah, I will tell that goated metal set. So at level 100 boost to this Marco can be really, really good. Really, really good. And removing him from the flag is not going to be that easy. So as a long run process, future, this new Marco has a potential. If you guys talking about the scores that this guy got, like the OG Marco got more scores, it doesn't matter. If you are like strong on one thing and the other guy is, knows a lot of tricks, but you know only one trick that is like really good. You are good bro. 
you are better than the other guy who knows a lot of tricks but can't use those tricks perfectly i ain't saying that this guy is bad i'm just giving you example so i would say that wano marco is better than og marco one more thing before going i would say that it depends on your play style also if you are offensive if you guys don't want to listen if you guys don't have want to have fun grinding sweaty then you guys i think that this marco would be better for you if you think you are a lone warrior or lone wolf you don't care about your team or you don't think that team will help you then this guy is better but if you are a team player if you are a team supporter and you think that you can go with your team and you can help your team i think this guy will be better it's totally up to you if you are a team player or you are a lone wolf totally up to you if you want to play offensive or you want to play to win totally up to you that's it for the video and thanks for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more of your content tell me in the comment section what you guys understand by my explanation and did i did my explanation part perfectly or better or good or my explanation was not up to the mark tell me on the comment section which marco is your favorite which marco you think is better tell me all on the comment section and you guys summon for these two or no nah, tell me that also bye guys bye bye